Hello and welcome back to Borderlands 2 Part 4. And in this part, I'm starting from the beginning screen to show you guys the lobby system. Totally cool and modern floating lobby that lets other players join your game, even if you don't even necessarily want them to. So are you ever going to get that gun that's on the loading screen there? I might already have it. It could also be one of a billion different guns that this game is capable of producing because... This game prides itself on its gun, shield, grenade, grenade mod, gun mod, uh, regular grenades, and really cool and rare and awesome stuff. It generates them all out of a random criterion system. But now, we're gonna go on a little diary hunt. I find it weird that the ice level is, is labeled the southern shelf because usually the southern levels are, you know, much more tropical or deserty. Well, that's because we live. That's because you and I live in the, in the northern hemisphere, so we have to. So going south only makes things warmer. Where if you lived at the equator, going even further south would actually start to make things colder. What's the meaning of this? I'm sorry. What was your name? P.S. Well, Miss Pierce, and please don't tell me it's Mrs. Pierce and break my heart. This train He's doesn't so belong handsome. to you, so why don't you turn around and face me, pumpkin? This train was commandeered legally under the... Holy nutballs! <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your freaking face? He said nutballs. So, does using the telescope actually do anything for you? It just it just lets you see. You can see you can see a long different distance. Your All character right. does not have uh, binoculars, a microscope, a telescope, a horoscope, not even a kaleidoscope. Or a periscope. <laughs> Haven't found anything good. My weapon Haven't found anything good. Not even sexy stalking legged gun on the front that has weird human hands and stuff. Yeah, I've seen artwork like that on the internet. It makes me very jolly. Buy something, would you please? Nah. So, is this guy related to the uh, merchant from Resident Evil 4, then? No. Nah. He is Marcus Kincaid. He is, he is, uh, quote-unquote, strong and very dedicated capitalist. <laughs> Totally not running from the old planet. Mm. Ah, uh, I have stretchy yawn noises. All right. Um. So, what is the objective that we're currently doing? We're like, it seems like we're hunting down handsome Jack audio logs. That is our immediate objective. Lest we forget that our broader objective is to find the vault. But in the way between us and the vault is Handsome Jack. And in, the, and in the way between us and Handsome Jack, and by extension the vault, is a series of audio logs that are strewn about Liarsburg. We need to find them all in order to piece together the narrative of dramatically what happened to Helena Pierce. Also, uh, we have to go kill Boomer. Uh, who puts this shit on the roof? <laughs> I do like that scene. See, it, ma it makes me wonder why Hammerlock even wants you to find the final audio log. Like, it's pretty, it, it, it at least contextually, like, you you're pretty sure that Pierce is dead because the Handsome Jack made it pretty clear that, he, that well, she was Hammerlock the one that he doesn't hear the audio logs as, as we're uh, playing them, so. I mean, it's implied once we get this last one that he hear that he no, that no, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's dropping. He's, he's, us, li but. he's listening along. He, he's, he's heard everything so far. Okay. It's kind of it's kind of like uh, every character in this game is either an Atlas or a Jack Ryan. They they can hear you because your your radio is like on your belt or something. The, border, the Borderlands can. I would prefer to have my radio up on my shoulder actually, especially if I was uh, rocking a uh, the Gunzerker build. 
Huh? Oh, holy crap! Did you see her head? It looks like... Okay, so now we know how she died. He shot her in the head. <laughs> you have all the information you need in order to make a sound deduction, Hammerlock. Please return the echoes to me whenever you are capable of doing so. Never make me look on the roof for shit. Uh, so ever aside again. from the uh, warrior grunts, does our character speak? Nope. Damn it. Berserker! I mean, it's it's good for uh. I mean, it's good for you know, uh, Im implanting yourself onto the character, but it's bad for uh, it's bad for narrative development. Uh, Just, you know, maybe <laughs> has different reasons for attempting to fight uh, Handsome Jack than uh, we do. Well, I mean, his motivation is simple. He's a vault hunter. So leave room for one deadly bipedal ape descended fool. Everyone in Liesburg. I see no reason that wild bully mong should lollygag about the place, disrespecting the memories of the former townsfolk. If you could clear the town of them, that would be most gentlemanly. The objectives on we your can do that. pertain to your active mission. You can change your active mission by using the mission log in your echo Shut device. up, clap drop! <laughs> your voice causes pain. <laughs> Not for me. I actually, I actually enjoy clap drop. So, we have to go to the graveyard in order to slay the, the hulking brutes that are there. Let us go Whoa. clear out the skags. The scums, the scabs, and the scallywags. Tell me how, lads. I mean, I mean, lad. You, you, you do have friends, don't you? Oh, thousand pardons. Uh, you, you look exactly like the amiable sort of who bring you all sorts of, all sorts of sophisticated society with you. <laughs> so this is past Cloud attempting to melee, uh, to melee range units and uh, units that deal better melee damage than he does. And me also throwing my super explosive guns. It's not nearly as cool as explosive sunglasses, but you'll never see it coming. You see, even Gerdad thought that I was just totally throwing my gun away, but no. I'm throwing my gun as a weapon. Behold. I'll throw it in your face. And I think that that particular mechanic is cool, so long as you don't actually lose the weapon when when, when you throw it. Yeah, it 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 also has got the digital re uh, the uh, digital representation of its form of its former incarnation. Everything uh, teleporting is for sale, back into your hands. Laura, yourself, your DNA, the records of your DNA, the copy of the copy of your DNA, all for sale, stored, retrievable, useful. One of the now, how difficult do you find getting critical hits with the shotgun? I mean, I guess I guess it's harder because the shotgun, by nature, shoots slower. A critical, a critical hit with a shotgun. Because I noticed that you're, you know, uh, yeah. Because I noticed that while you're using the shotgun and you're, you know, aiming at the guy, uh, at the bullywog's neck, which is almost where his critical hit hit box should be. You just don't get a critical hit for that. You actually have to hit the front of his head. Precisely. And thus by striking him in the head, he is dead. I wanted to bring up that the second win system does behoove the player to make a couple adjustments to ordinary first-person shooter gameplay. Uh, one one critical element of fight or flight of fight or fight or life mode is you must get a kill in order to survive. If getting kills right before you go down does nothing. So keeping enemies that are weakened on the battlefield without killing them is a good safety strategy. Especially if you haven't second winded that many times already. Also, always use guns that have full clips. Do not reload. Simply switch your gun if you run out of ammo. Because uh, switching into your gun it, uh, is usually faster than reloading. And... Um, and you can get per and you can get perks to make it faster than reloading. And when you switch in, you automatically have a full clip. Precisely. Yay! Unfortunately. Quality of life, first-person shooter uh, effects. We still have to 
level up before we can go take on Boom Boom again because Boom Boom is still three levels higher than us. Three, you'd never want to fight an opponent that has at least three levels more than you. Their name tag will usually be highlighted with a skull saying, this is you, if you so proceed, as uh, you are doing at the moment, in order to produce the skull icon next to a high-level opponent's name. Well, we can level up quickly just by doing bullshit. Like this. Uh -huh. Didn't see oh, it coming. I was hoping that you would land on him and kill him with greater damage. Nah, there, there is no, there is no falling greater damage in this game. Oh. Well, but we're on, we're on, pa we're on planet Pandora. We don't necessarily have Earthian gravity here. Actually, gravity is less on Pandora. Well, we don't actually. Uh, pa uh Pandora. Pandora actually is a, a moon around another planet. Nah. Um, it just it, it just so happens to actually have a breathable atmosphere for our, for our humanoids and wildlife. That is, um, the more extreme versions of um, er, of Earth wildlife. Oh. Thanks to the vault. And these guys are like mute. These uh, ape frogs are kicking your butt, dude. These are like mute. This is what you get when you breed a matchamp with a golem. So, are you gonna invest in the perk that automatically picks up money uh, 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 that's uh, that spawns around you? Yes, you will automatically pick up ammo okay. and uh, money that is on the ground. Not, not in a chest. But you don't really, because you had to, you know, you you had to scooch over to where the money had dropped uh, just like 20 seconds ago in order to pick up that money. Okay, correction. Um, I can only automatically grab items that are dropped by enemies, not by containers or loot chests. <laughs> I am acrobatic. I got a job for you. It's push. Hey, he's right next to you. You don't need to press the summon button. Up make yours. As as possible, would you? Ah, the woeful spinny gun. I hang on to this gun for a while. It's really powerful. Okay, then. Uh, I need a shield. If you're to survive out here for any length of time, you'll need a better shield. I humbly suggest paying a visit to the old Crimson Raider safe house. You'll need to take the elevator up there. Okay. Right. The elevator. Is is the elevator in town? Badass tokens. Complete challenges to earn customization items and badass ranks. Badass ranks earn you tokens which can be spent on permanent character upgrades that apply to all characters associated with your gamer profile. Nice. I actually would have gone for I would have gone for gun damage instead over um, instead of uh, a shield recharge. Max health. Maximum health is good too. Accuracy. Reload no speed. accuracy. Reload speed. Damn it. No pass cloud. I got one more point of shield capacity. I did it. Which is cool, but not important or useful. No, Accuracy, on the other hand, would be significantly useful. No, I just, I disagree, though. I don't, I don't think I need the game's help being accurate. I just, I just need to be better. What you're not, but, but what you don't remember is that this is an action RPG. There's RPG elements working in the background against you, and accuracy will help you, will help you uh, have the dice roll in your favor more often. But not at point blank range. <laughs> Even at point blank range, you you I think the uh, I don't I, I honestly don't know what a lot of a lot of the math for uh, for Borderlands is, but I assume that that your uh, hit chance uh, caps out at 95 percent, and and at 90 at at not you know, even at point blank range, if your uh, if your accuracy or your other or your other accuracy determining stats are too low. You can still you can still actually miss, or you know, even worse, you can have nullified damage. Right, Be because like glancing shot. I fucking hate glancing shot. All of the sure they are. all of the cool kids are dead.